A very warm welcome. It is day two of the Wimbledon Championships. Andy Murray has actually decided to wait until this morning to decide whether he is going to play singles for what will be the final time at Wimbledon. Maybe that means yesterday's practice session was an encouraging one for Murray. He slept on it, and maybe we will see him as a singles player on centre court one final time. BBC News at 11 o'clock. Andy Murray has pulled out of this year's Wimbledon singles tournament because of injury. Oh, they moved Murray. I've seen Where's Murray gone? Oh, there's oh. him in there. That's a shame. Oh. Oh. There are no Andy Murray. Isn't that a pity? It is. Wimbledon is not the same without him, isn't no. it? Yeah. Good break that he's been moved. But didn't yeah. see it was Goffin that's moved out. It's a shame we haven't got centre court tickets. Yeah. <laughs> for Jack Draper as well. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, imagine that court, like centre court, like mm. just get the call up in the morning being like, yeah, yeah, you're going to be on centre court today. Exactly. It's so cool. That's unreal. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk a little bit about a guy that you used to coach and just a national hero here in the UK, in Andy Murray, him pulling out of the tournament today in singles, staying in doubles, but just your thoughts on Andy and what he's meant to this, this place. Well, first of all, I'm sure when he got up this morning and seeing that it's like Scotland weather today, it's freezing, and I'm sure that didn't help him. And I watched him practice on Saturday, and he couldn't bend. And you know he did everything, Renee, he possibly could to be able to play this match. And I'm gutted for him. I'm sure he's gutted. Um, and hopefully, in a couple of days, he'll be able to finish his career playing doubles, you know, with his brother. We need to be extra loud. The court, court is going to be full of British supporters because Harriet's obviously playing the first match. So just that extra volume, you know, and just be really, really sharp with your calls. And just the same procedure with the balls, you know, doing ball change, make certain the lids are flat and beside the barrel, not tucked up. You know, um, and apart from that, as Tama said, enjoy it. You know, we've got a cracker of a day today. through her first round here at Wimbledon for the third time in her career. Loves to play on the grass. And is there anything better than her being in her favourite place, of course? They've had to surrender to the rain here. Players are going to have to be taken off and the covers are going to be brought on. And a lovely reception for the British number one, Katie Balto. grinds it out. She battles through. You're now in the in the second round. Do you know who you're going to play? Yeah, you do. It is a fellow Brit, Harriet Dart. Now, how... I know, Aww. everyone. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I didn't make the draw. Um, <laughs> but, you know, do you approach that differently when you play someone from Great Britain? How easy or tough is that for you? Yeah, I mean, playing a Brit in, uh, in the UK on the grass is never an easy draw. I'm expecting an absolute battle. Elia Seema versus 
Britain's Jack Draper seeded at a Grand Slam Championship for the first time. To, to play in front of you guys. Um, I missed here last year, not being able to play. I know you probably wanted to, to see Andy out here, but you were uh, stuck with me instead. So. 